Things like going act actively going in to talk to principals and, and having them sort of try to boycott me and those sort of things. And oh, it still happened in, in Cutting Edge and, uh, you know, some of the Catholic schools. It's been very difficult. But uh, it's not necessarily the principals and the teachers that have got the issue. So uh, you, uh, uh, You're Protestant, so you have lots of trouble with the Catholics? Oh, look, it's pretty generous. They're a bit of hands down for coffee too, aren't they? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, that's a new expression on me. <laughs> uh, so why, why all these projects? You know, why is there a higher suicide rate for young gays and lesbians in, uh, in rural areas in Australia? We've only just discovered, really, that there is in, in, yeah. in data and facts, and I don't think we've actually discovered why. I mean, the reasons that people are, are throwing around is the isolation. You know, what I mentioned before about the lack of connectedness. Um, I mean, I even met a young person, I remember it was many years ago now, who didn't even actually know that homosexuality was a sexuality. Now, I didn't have a television on the farm, had never seen Mardi Gras or anything vaguely that represented uh, gay and lesbians. This was before there was, you know, the gay character in, you know, Dawson's Creek or anything like that. Um, and it just struck me that, you know, they're just so disconnected from all of that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we all knew we were the only ones in the, back in the country at some stage or another. Mm. Uh, so what sort of aspirations would you have for, uh, for the same-sex attracted youth project that you've been running? Do you, uh, do you think it has a future? Does mm. it, uh, uh, is it going to solve the problems of all the young gays and lesbians in, in Goulburn Valley? I don't know whether it's going to solve all the problems, but I think it's certainly going to uh, train a lot of the professionals that will be the first line people that come in contact with them, the doctors, the G, you know, the GPs, the, the local government, police, um, try and change some of the cultures within those organisations and how they work with young people. I think that's going to be important because young people will, will come, grow, leave, stay, and there'll always be a new lot of young people. So to be... Even without you recruiting them. Even without us recruiting them, absolutely. Yeah. Which is, of course, a, another yeah. drama we come up against on a day-to-day -day basis. That's an accusation that's been flung at you, I guess. Yeah, and it, yeah absolutely. And it's difficult for gay and lesbian youth workers to work with young people because of the recruitment argument. It's rather difficult, yeah. Well, um, what is the recruitment argument? Uh, because well, because we're gay and lesbian, therefore uh, we will recruit straight kids to a lifestyle of... It's Whatever. nonsense. That's what it Absolutely is. Absolutely nonsense. It's nonsense. Uh, it's nonsense here on Profiles, and it's uh, nonsense here on Ben TV, Channel 31 Melbourne. We'll be back uh, with more Profiles and more of Rowena Allen in just one moment. <laughs>